Hi, I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet weather report. Did you see your neighbors dancing in the rain? Maybe you were dancing too. What a great end of May and beginning of June with so much needed rain across our state. A 30-day map from May 12th through June 11th has lots of bright colors on it. Reds are areas at or above 8 inches, orange at or above 6 inches, yellow at or above 4 inches, and green at or above an inch. Looking at the rainfall for June from the 1st through June 11th, we can see where the storm cells were more intense, the yellow and orange areas at or above 4 inches of rain. Even though every Mesonet site recorded rainfall last weekend, it was more of a southern Oklahoma event. A map of rain from Saturday through Wednesday shows a blue northern half of Oklahoma with an inch or less of rain in sharp contrast to the green areas at one inch or more. The highest Mesonet rainfall was at Bowlegs with four and seventy-eight hundredths inches of rain. It's no surprise that all of that rain has dramatically improved Oklahoma soil moisture. What is a surprise is how soil moisture varies as we look at deeper levels in the soil. A map of the percent of plant available water in the upper four inches of the soil shows a lot of dark green and many values above 90 percent. Soils at 100 percent are at field capacity, the maximum available water that plants can take up. If we look a little deeper from the surface down to 16 inches, we see some drier brown areas on the map. These areas indicate that there was not enough rainfall to wet deeper soil depths. Drilling down to include soil moisture from the surface down to 32 inches as a percent of plant available water, we see the same dark brown areas. What is different is the increase in yellowish green areas indicating that these soils only have about half of the plant available water they could hold. Monday, June 9th, wind rolled into Oklahoma from the north and west. Maximum wind gusts hit 60 at Goodwell in the Panhandle. At nearby Hooker, gusts peaked at 58. The gold numbers in the western third of the state show where peak wind gusts were at or above 40. Central Oklahoma wind gusts were predominantly in the 30s. Gusts were in the 20s from central to eastern Oklahoma and just a few values below 20 scattered near the Arkansas border. A wind graph from Medicine Park for June 9th and 10th shows how the wind speeds and gusts picked up just after midnight on Monday morning, blew hard all day and through the night into Tuesday, finally tapering off Tuesday afternoon. Hopefully we'll all find more times this summer to dance in the rain. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Mesonet Weather Report.